All right. So it says up here, remember that irregular verbs do not follow the regular rules of adding ed to form their past tense or when they are written with the helping verbs has, have, and had. Remember, those are called your past participle. They are right here. All right, so once again, they added this chart for you to help you with today's lesson. And like it says, just review from yesterday's lesson. So all you're doing is you're just reading through the sentences, changing the verb to past tense, using the chart to help you. So we'll do the guided practice together like we always do. Number one says, the American Thread Company began in 1898. Alright, so we need to change that to the past tense. So if you look at begin up here on the chart, begin, we're going to change it to began. All right, so now it makes more sense. The American Thread Company began in 1898. All right, number two, people have no about this company's products for over 100 years. Once again, we're going to go back in the chart. There's no. We're going to change it to new. Except that if you look here, it has past participle word have. So we actually have to look at this part of the chart for no. And it's known. Have known. All right, number three, the company grow and built the largest mill in the world. So we're going to look up at the chart. We're going to find grow. Past, uh, past tense form is grew. There is not a past participle word in here, so we're just going to write the word grew. All there you go. Number four. Many people do not know that Velcro was invented at American Thread Company. So once again, we're going back and looking at the word no. It's right here. We're actually just going to leave it no. Many people do not know that Velcro was invented at American Thread Company. All right, number five. Thomas Edison choose American Thread Company as the first factory to place his new invention of electricity. So we're going to go up here, look at choose, and past tense is chose. So now it makes more sense. Thomas Edison chose American Thread Company as the first factory to place his new invention of electricity. All right, number six. People speak highly of this company for years. We we'll look up at the chart, speak, and past tense is spoke. And there is no past participle, so we're just going to write the word spoke. Just like that. So once again, and then what you can do is go back, read the sentences. If it makes sense, then you have the correct form. If you're reading it and you know that doesn't quite make sense, then you might need to add the past participle words has, have, or had. Change it slightly so that that verb makes sense. All right, let me go over page 204 with you. That way you know what to do on your own. Remember, tomorrow I will post the answers. All right, so independent practice, basically one through nine, same as we just did. You're going to look at the verbs. You're going to go back and look at the chart. Find the correct past tense form, or you might need to use the past participle of the verbs to make the sentence make correct, or seem correct, excuse me. All right. 
number 10 through 14. It's similar to what we did the day before. It says fill in the circle next to the correct answer. So read the two sentences and decide which sentence uses the verb correctly in the sentence. They apply and write, as you know, that's extra credit or extra work, but it's not necessary. So I'm going to put an X there because, like I said before, this is the part that you need to practice for your test that's coming up next week. All right, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to send me a message. I'd be happy to help you.